I don't just wanna chill. Hey guys, it's Erica Abercrombie, and I'm just going to be using a new product. This is the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Gel, and I'm just going to be using that for washing go. My hair is freshly washed. I co-washed it and I deep conditioned it. So yeah. I'm not a big Cantu person. Um, Cantu never works with my hair. It always flakes. It just, it's just not the best. So I only got the gel because all of the reviews I've seen have said that it mixed with the curl activator has flaked up and just got really just not good. So I'm just, I'm just going to be using the gel and I'm just going to mix it with my Holy Grail product. And it's the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Curl Activator. I use this all the time. I use it with different gels. It never flakes. So we're just going to see how it works. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by sectioning my hair into four. So what I'm about to do now is just take another clip and just clip it up. Just taking a little bit of this and just applying it on my hair. I'm not gonna take too much because I never used the gel before and I don't know how it's gonna react with it. So I'm just going to apply just a tiny amount and just putting that from the root down. Now before I apply the gel, I'm just going in back with my spray bottle and just wetting it again before I put the gel on it. I'm just going to part that into two sections again. I'm just about to apply the gel. It's very thick. It's thicker than like Eco Styler. It has, yeah, a little bounce to it. So for this, I'm just applying this amount of gel and I'm just going to apply it.
here's what the first section is looking like. It did a pretty good job. I don't know if it's because I mixed it with this, but um, I'm not really feeling the texture of it. I can't explain it, but I'm just gonna have to wait for it to dry to see how it feels. But so far, I really haven't had to do much to define my curls. Like I didn't have to like twist a bunch of strands. Like it just naturally did it. So I'm just going to take down this section. I'm just going in with some olive oil and I'm just going to apply that over my hair. Hopefully if it does leave any flakes, the oil will kind of help combat it. Now I'm just taking some wild growth oil, the light oil moisturizer one. I'm just going to apply a thin coat over that one just to seal because olive oil isn't a sealant.
So this is the first half of my hair done. I'm praying that it doesn't flake because it's, if it flakes, I'm just gonna have to wash it all out. But so far, I'm not sure. But it has to find my curls. So what I'm about to do is I'll go and do the other half and I'll come back on here to tell you my final thoughts. So here's what my hair looks like after I finish all the sections. Um, I can say my hair is elongated but it's definitely kind of shrinking a little bit. Like this side is kind of shorter than this side because I did this one first. But it's not anything bad. I don't think I'm going to blow dry it. I'm going to let it air dry. So when it fully dries, I'll come back on and I'll give you like my final, final thoughts. So. so it's an hour later and this is what my hair is looking like. Surprisingly, my hair is mostly dry. Usually it takes a really long time to dry, but here it is. My hair is definitely soft and defined it did shrink up but i'm not mad at it because it's day one here so by tomorrow it's going to be more voluminous and longer and it's just going to keep getting longer and bigger so i really don't care i didn't blow dry it i just let it air dry and my hair is definitely soft it has no crunch no flakes which is the first time for cantu so i will definitely be using this product more often I'm not really a wash and go person, but I'm starting to get into them and it's definitely nice. So, this is the end of my video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe.